Neil and Michelle loved the house at first sight. Beautiful kitchen addition. Home inspection went well, and then problems started to rise once they moved in. Electrical issues, breakers going off, the floor freezing cold in the winter. There is more problems than they expected. I'm gonna have to go in, and I'll make it right. Well, Michelle and I uh, met each other and um, fell in love and wanted to start a life together. Since we were getting married, we thought we should get a new house too. New marriage, new house. We spent quite a bit of time looking at houses. We looked at quite a few and we thought we found it uh, when uh, we came across this one. It's a great neighborhood, very nice, nicely looked after homes. The size of the house was perfect for us, just yeah. the two of us. We really liked the, the, the ground floor layout, having a family room, a living room, a dining room and this large garden kitchen. Mm -hmm. It just seemed like it was made for us. Our primary concern was this addition because knowing that it was added on, uh, it wasn't part of the original building, who knows how they built it. So we wanted to ensure, if there's anything we wanted assurance around, it was this addition. Mm -hmm. The inspector was very easy to talk to in that and I followed him around. I mean, he seemed like a knowledgeable guy. We looked outside and we looked inside and I asked questions mm -hmm. and um, he seemed to be able to answer them to our satisfaction. And by the end of it, he filled out a, a binder and you know made a few notes and told us uh, there were some minor things that needed to be looked after in the short term. So everything was okay, and so you know we said, okay, it's a go. Let's buy the house. As soon as the weather started getting cold, you could actually feel the cold resonating up through the floor. If you're standing at the kitchen sink, there's blasts of cold coming under the sink, and it really. Um, we thought this would be a wonderful, usable space, and um, it's ending up that we can really only use the main part of the kitchen, the original part of the kitchen. Michelle? Hi. Uh, Mike, nice to meet you. Neil? Yeah, great. Pleasure to meet you. We are extremely excited that he is coming in to help us out. Uh, we know he and his crew will do it right. Um, they are extremely professional, knowledgeable, skilled. Um, it's like winning a lottery. <laughs> now if we just take a walk outside first, since I have my coat on. Now spring's coming, it's just not here yet. How old's the house? Uh, 28 years. Okay, so what do you know about this addition? Do you know if there's a permit? That yes, we did we check did. with the town. And? We checked with that, and there was a permit. That's and, good. And it passed inspection. Okay. We checked both of those things. Okay, see, that makes me happy. Yes. So we have bricks, so they tied it back into the house. I see the mortar joint in the corner, and I'd rather see some sort of a rubberized caulking rather than the mortar joint. If you notice, that joint is already cracking. Did they dig down, or do we just have, is it the kitchen's on grade? We uh, initially thought it was on grade, but I've since learned uh, through some investigative work of our own that it's actually on a uh, crawl space. Yes. And they've sealed off the crawl space? Yes. Yeah, we don't know that there's an access. We've never seen a way to get under there. I did not read about this in the report. This is an issue to me. I can tell where the addition starts because we have this beautiful display in the ceiling, but this was it here, right? So it was a small kitchen before. The kitchen was actually this area here. I'm gonna assume that the sink, there was a uh, back window here, probably a door. The floor is cold. Because the floor is cold from the addition point where it started out to here, that tells me that we could have insulation problems or it could be just minimum cold, but I do feel a drastic cold here. Uh, the thermometer's in the corner here. And what is the temperature at? Last I checked, uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it looks like it's just, just over 60 degrees. So that it, it is, I'm gonna stand here for a second. And that is extremely cold in the corner. So when we find the differences of temperatures, this means we have a cool draft coming in somewhere. And it's usually underneath here, especially this corner. There's definitely a cool draft. I'm going to bring in some tools. We're going to see just how cold the area is. And it's actually a thermographic image camera. And it'll show right on the camera all the cold zones. And odds are, it's just a draft. Because it's amazing what a draft can do. Plumbing, it can actually yeah. freeze your plumbing. It could be insulated perfect, perfectly, but if we have that draft going across that area, it will freeze the pipes. It'll also freeze the floor. And what happens when the floor is cold? Your feet are cold and you're cold. Yes. You wear slippers. You don't have them, you don't have them on I, right I now. I don't have them on right now, but my feet are cold. I can actually open up a three foot opening and not affect the structure. And I have access A to get in there, B to create a warm zone, a conditioned zone. In the fall we had um, 
a really nasty smell. One thing's for sure, if there's a dead critter, you're not missing a cat or anything, right? No. no. <laughs> okay. You know, not only is the house cold, but you have electrical problems too, and then you start not feeling safe in your own house. What's wrong with the electrical? We've identified that this is a circuit that's got like 19 devices on it or okay. something like that. There was too many things on this one circuit. Right. It was not in the report. No. But we did have permits for the kitchen. Yeah. You checked. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you didn't check to see if there was electrical, did you? No. I will bring an electrician. I will check to see if there was electrical permit. You said you closed off that one piece of duct line at the yeah, window. Yeah, the other duct. We had to close it off um, because in the fall we had um, a really nasty smell. You could actually smell it coming right out of the register. Like a dead animal? Yeah. yeah. And so we were just kind of going around smelling off the we registers. Had, we had a, we called in another duct cleaning guy. This is like, you know, two in a year now. And he said, That's, that smell is a dead animal. Let's go downstairs okay. so I can see downstairs. All right. This is where you opened up the ductwork to close it off? Yes, exactly. And you're saying this line was leading the smell, or it's in this line? Well, I think it's in that line there. That's going into the? Into the crawl space. Yeah. You know, one thing's for sure, if there's a dead critter, you're not missing a cat or anything, right? No. no. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this is where I would have cut a hole into the foundation. If you're going to put on an addition, you definitely want a crawl space that is conditioned, much like your basement. The home inspector definitely should have been looking for access to the crawl space. I'll leave it there. I'm going to get my tools. I'm going to go through this house with a fine tooth comb. I'm going to check everything else just to make sure everything else is all right. But it, uh, I see enough that there's things that I can uh, jump on. And uh, when I open it up, I'll bring it back. OK. OK? And we'll show you what we found. OK. All right, and hopefully it's not a dead critter. Yes. Let's hope not. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start with uh, thermographic image reading of the kitchen because I think it's just a smart move. Temperature in the morning is nice and cold outside, and it's warm on the inside, so it gives me different readings here. We can see a very cold zone in the corner there, and I can actually point to it with the laser. The tiles are cooler. Well, watch this, OK? My hand's on the wall. And watch the difference. Right away, I'm warming that tile, and this camera will pick it up. He said the plug was really cold in the corner. I can see it clearly here. Looks are deceiving, right? They come in here, it looks really nice. No wonder they bought the house. They love the kitchen. They love the backyard. I listened to what they said. This, their oasis is in the backyard. So first vision is like, oh, this is beautiful. You know, there was permits on it. Everything is done. But you know, you put your hand up here. It's, it was. He talked about it later on. How I'm noticing things are wrong. That is a cool draft coming in there. I'm just looking at the connection from the existing house to the addition, and we have one hell of a cold spot on that wall. So all that dark blue is very cold. From the ceiling on this side of the kitchen to here, we have a difference of five degrees in Celsius. And we can see, by looking up, all kinds of cold spots right on the ceiling. So I want to take some pictures. I'm documenting, because everything for me is about documenting. This here is the drain line that is to the island upstairs. And the problem with that is what do we see? It's running uphill. Water doesn't run uphill. Comes down from the sink, runs uphill, and then feeds down to the proper drain. They always leave two spare breakers in the panel, right? And that's the idea that if you do, you add something, yeah, yeah, an air conditioning, something like that. Now, this is our obviously full. Now, the funny thing in here is that we did cut, a, I'm going to say that's a 30 amp line. Somebody's cut that off. I don't know where it leads to. We'll find out. I'll bring in Frank, my electrician. He's going to take a look at the place and see what not only the other contractor has done, but possibly what his Neil has done here. And when I talked to Neil, he talked about uh, the dishwasher was hooked up to other lines. Now, it shouldn't be. Uh, the receptacles on the counter are supposed to be on their own. It should have been from the old kitchen. So where'd those lines go is my point. They all had their own lines before. Where the hell did they go? Neil disconnected the pipe, which I'm actually going to run my camera down to see if we do see a critter. This is a snake camera. We can actually stick this in a hole. And I have a good wide range of view. And it tells me the things that I need to know. What's on the other side of that? What's the depth of the floor? What I'm hoping not to see is actually a dead critter in there. 
And right from the distance that I'm looking now, I can't see beyond it, so if there is, it's a lot further than about four feet in. Let's try it from upstairs. In reality, it's not the inspector's job to do what I'm doing. It's the inspector's job to create a report based on what's right with the house, what's wrong with the house. I'm going to stage two. So rather than drilling downstairs, I chose to come up here and go through the register area. And it looks like the mice are having a wonderful home down there because we see the crap on the insulation right in the ductwork. I'm trying to find out how much distance I have underneath the floor joist to the bottom of the addition. And I'm hoping there's three feet because I know they had to go down four feet by code. I know for a fact they had to. So did they backfill it with earth all the way up and then put in the floor joist? Man, I hope not. I really do. It's a garbage site. It looks like it's full with all kinds of brick that they didn't use. Look at there's a nice coffee cup. And with all the crap that I'm seeing down there, all the stone, is it piled up? Is it continued through? I don't know. And the fight is, is for me to tell Damon, go through the kitchen floor or go through the basement. You know, it's a pretty small addition. It's only about, say, 12 feet by about 16 feet. The things that I don't like is the downspouts, because we're going to have to worry about the downspouts actually bleeding into the weeping system. Now, being on the inside corner, it's going to make a water trap in this corner, which if there's too much rain here, it's going to penetrate into the foundation. What do we have here? We have <laughs> three pieces of sill. So, what they've done here, minimum code says that you're supposed to caulk these joints, okay? Mortar is not acceptable because what? It cracks, it will, it'll dry, it'll shrink, and this is the first area for moisture to get in. So if you see anything like this, get a caulking bead right over top of it. Actually chisel it back just a bit so you can get a nice bead of caulking. The less water in the house, the better for me.